Welcome back for another exciting semester at IU Southeast. I'm Zach Becker. And I'm Nikki Fouch. During the first week of school, students were allowed to get their U cards. The new U cards are replacing the old identification cards for existing students, faculty, and staff. You can use the U card as a university ID, a debit card, a library card, and the key to the new residence halls all in one. You can load money onto your card and you can use it various places on campus. You can use it at the bookstore, the university grounds coffee shop, the dining services, and we have six vending and coke machines on campus where you will be able to use it. Um, by 2009, you'll be able to go to the outside local community accepting it, um, Taco Bell, McDonald's, Arby's, um, hopefully a couple gas stations. We're going to try for as many local vendors as we possibly can. Also this week, the community was invited to Herps Alive on Sunday, January 20th from 2 to 4. Kids of all ages got the chance to interact with turtles, lizards, and snakes. The cost was free and open to the public. Reporter Jeremy Mertz has more. Thanks guys, we're here at University Center South to see one of the many shows put on by SBC Herps Live. Keith gave an overview of each reptile he brought with him and allowed the audience to get involved by touching and holding them. What seemed to be the most popular sight was a South American turtle, Bubba. Bubba mingled with the crowd while Keith went on to present the rest of his reptiles. From the white tree frog with suction cup toes which allowed him to climb trees to the baby alligator who will grow to over seven feet long, Herbs Alive was an interesting and informative show for kids of all ages. For IU Southeast News, I'm Jeremy Mertz. On Wednesday, January 18th, students were invited to write the Grenadier Fight Song. The requirements were that it couldn't be longer than three minutes, it had to be an MP3 format, and if you win, you will go down in the IU Southeast History Books. The winner will be announced on January 25th. This week in sports, men's basketball will play IU East on Thursday, January 24th at 7 p.m. And on Saturday, January 26th, they play IU Northwest at noon. Also, a big congratulations to both Dion Gary for being named last week's KIAC Men's Basketball Player of the Week and to the IU Southeast softball team for being picked as the KIAC preseason number one team by the softball coaches of the KIAC. Woo! Some upcoming events this week include the ring-in tradition on Tuesday, January 29th and Wednesday, January 30th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. All students who have 56 credit hours or more can order their class ring from a representative who will be on campus in the bookstore lobby during these times. And find out what your campus is doing to keep you safe next week on the IU Southeast News. Well, that's going to wrap it up for us today. Thanks for watching and stick around for the new Southeast shtick. We're going to try something new this week. We like to call it the Southeast Shtick. If you like to hear it, here it goes. Actress Madeline Carlotto, famous for her role as Vampira in the movie cult classic Plan 9 from Outer Space, died January 10th at the age of 86. Her breasts were 60. Brad Renfro died January 15th of unknown reasons. You know, I'm no coroner, but I'd like to say that a heroin probably had a pretty big role in it. And finally, the United States Postal Service is offering a new stamp commemorating the 300-year reign of prostitution in America. The stamp will cost 36 cents, but if you want to lick it, it's going to be 50. Well, that's it for the Southeast Shtick. I'm Zach Becker.